number 40, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, but pa local man or oh, international. What am I doing? Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo kasi here's a countdown. You shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. What are you waiting for? Let's start with today's number 10. What do we have for this countdown? Well, we are going to be talking about Ringo Starr who canceled concert after falling ill. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, an icon has fallen ill. That is Ringo Starr, one of the members of the Beatles together with his band did really scrap the concert after Ringo was sick. Ringo and All-Star Band were set to perform in New Buffalo, Michigan this weekend. And according to Ringo's Instagram post, he has COVID-19. Hence, his current tour with the band is on hold. Well, you gotta still practice the safety protocols, right? So that's it for that. But we're gonna give you an update when he heals. <laughs> This is for the Swifties. Taylor Swift is dropping another song title. Well, she did drop it already. She never stops making surprises and announcements. She recently posted another video on TikTok where she revealed the title of her new song from her highly anticipated album, Midnight. The title of her new song is Midnight Rain. And the new album will be out soon. <laughs> Wow, so there's really a tie-up between Beyonce and this jewelry brand because she dropped a video of Ren Summer Renaissance for Tiffany & Co. Beyonce released a video of her song under Renaissance album. The video is a song Summer Renaissance for Tiffany & Co. The singer has been in partnership with a company known for luxury and jewel products. The black and white film is directed by Grammy Award winner Mark Romanek. And the latest campaign also shows the continuous partnership between the company and Beyonce and Jay-Z on its About Love Scholarship program, which is beautiful. <laughs> the Nun 2, let's talk about it. And Tysa from Miga is returning to it. Sister Irene will be back for The Nun 2. <laughs> Actress Tysa Farmiga will reprise her famous role in the latest film under the Conjuring franchise. She will star a long story read. The Nun was released back in 2018 and it featured how they fight possession of a nun named Velik in Romania. Did you remember that? I think I did cover this junket. The movie was a global success and the character of Valak was a hit as well. It earned more than $360 million worldwide. <laughs> wow! So this 2023, it's going to be released in our cinemas. <laughs> Who doesn't have a podcast? Tayo na lang ata. But right now, the latest person to join the bandwagon is Kim Kardashian. Ding, ding, ding. Yup, Kim Kardashian and Spotify released the first two episodes of Kim Kardashian, The System, The Case of Kevin Keith. The podcast series has finally been out two years after Kim inked an exclusive deal with Spotify. The series follows the story of an Ohio man convinced with triple homicide for nearly three decades. He and his family is continuously proving his innocence and he is wrongly accused. So the podcast will focus on criminal justice reforms. Each new episode of the podcast will be released every Monday on Spotify. And it's going to be a really good, uh, well, publicity for for the injustice that's happening in the, in the scene, right? Ay, wait lang. Sasayo tayo. What am I Happy anniversary, one balita Pilipinas new time. Yes, it was after Idol and Action Hour show last year did sign off to give way to the Senate candidacy of Idol Rafi. But yes, right now we're gonna talk about this and happy anniversary to the show, which I am a part of as well. We are 44, 4.45 p.m. on 1 News, 1 PH, Radio C, 92.3 News FM. Hello to everybody also watching us via YouTube of 1 News. You can catch us daily on 1 News.ph for the print version. Hello to the All and Addicts and OMJ supporters. <laughs>
rising in live MNL announces upcoming artists in the Clouds Festival Manila. Yes, talagang every week may international star na pupunta sa Pilipinas na kakatuwa. Hindi na siya big deal, di ba? I love it. The pioneering and internationally renowned music and media company amplifying Asian talent and culture and live MNL in any pricing are thrilled to announce that the Clouds uh, Music and Arts Festival will happen here and it's going to be in Manila. Yup, 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 with an impressive range of curated talent, including Joji, Jackson Wang, Nikki, Rich, Brian, Iaj, and Yoa Sobi. The festival will include live performances from DB Manila Gray, Warren Yu, Ilona Garcia, Guap Dad 4000, Atarashi Gako, Millie, Zach Tabudlo, and many more. Siempre, si ano diba, si Zen Danjan din. It will take place Friday, December 9, Saturday, and December 10 at the SM Festival Grounds, Paranaque City. Mukhang book na yung SM ano, Festival Grounds ano, sa Paranaque hanggang year end. <laughs> Kaya, the P-pop girl group. Yep, they're going to be exploring more R&B leading direction to the new single Dalawa, released under Sony. Standing out on sublime contrast with their previous releases of five member of Axe, Smooth Jam alludes to the idea of expressing infatuation in most reassuring and youthful way. Dalawa is a song that tells a story familiar to many, catching unrequited feelings for someone close to you. Catch it in all digital platforms. Oh, Serena Del Ripple married her non showbiz boyfriend. Serena is now Mrs. Thomas Bredelin. The former child star and Thomas exchanged vows in a lakeside wedding, and it was attended by closest family and friends. It was last week that she did announce that she is to be wed. The couple met in 2018 and moved to New Hampshire in 2020. Congratulations. PLDD kicks off the Baiguro celebration. It's the moment to give thanks and honor to our teachers. PLDD Gabayguro does it the best. Yes, so kung gusto niyo sumali dyan at ikaw ay isang educator, just go to Gabayguro app to be able to participate in the events and win prizes. It is from the PLDD and Smart Foundation and Metro Pacific. Thousands of teachers are being helped and entertained by this. And it's an online event raised by Martin, Sharon, Regine, and 40 more artists. Talagang full star study to star study. Ito na yun. I watched The Woman King last night. It's dropping tomorrow in cinemas. You must catch it. Um, grabe si Viola Davis. And the the story of the Dahomey. Well, really, uh, we, we got to talk about these kinds of things and strong women in film. Now, after that, we have another. It's Black Panther's Wakanda Forever. The trailer is out. Black Panther Wakanda Forever tells the story of the late Chad Bozeman's character, T'Challa, as he's his new other Black Panthers, who will be the next king of the African nation of Wakanda. The movie is set to be released in cinemas, and we will give you a heads up if we will have interviews with them, but do stand by for that.
what you whisper. Before we end, please stay safe from COVID-19. Mask if you must. Disinfect. Continue practice social distancing. Get vaccinated and boosted. That's it for today. Makalis na countdown Mondays to Fridays. 4.45 p.m. 1 News 1 PH at Radio C. 92.3 News FM. I'm MJ Marpori. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Celebrity Top 10.